Hey everybody, welcome to Skills on Sunday for October 18th, 2020. I'm your host, DM Galabond. Alright, so you're in a fight and you notice your opponent is just really really agile i mean they're dashing all over the field of combat and you're just even if they attack you and dart away you never seem to be able to swing fast enough to hit them you might did be fighting against an opponent that has the mobile feet so uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what the mobile feat is in D&D 5e, and we will see a little bit about where it came from. All right, so uh, the mobile feat for uh, 5e D&D means that the character is exceptionally speedy and agile. They gain the following benefits. Speed increases by 10 feet. When you use the dash act, Dash action, difficult terrain, doesn't cost you extra movement on the turn. And when you make a melee attack against a creature, you do not provoke opportunity attacks from that creature for the rest of the turn, whether you hit or not. So, um, so the uh, this is quite a useful uh, a useful feat, um, and it is sort of a conglomeration of several feats that existed back in uh, 3.5 or third edition 3.5e. Uh, partly it had the um, a little bit of the effects of the agile uh, feat from that uh, had a bit of the um, a bit of the uh, mobility, uh, uh, the mobility uh, feature um, had a bit of the dodge. Uh, so dodge uh, gives you an AC bonus against selected targets. Uh, mobility um, dodge bonus AC against some attacks of opportunity. Uh, and you know it kind of feels in it in the way it its mechanics works it feels a little bit like the spring attack where you can move before and after a melee attack um, that's sort of what the mobile feat gives you um, it's a very it's a very interesting feat and if you um, but it can be lost on some uh, classes for example, it's almost like doubling up some of the features that, let's say, a monk will have. Um, so I'm not sure how how additionally useful at higher levels the mobile feat would be for a monk. But for something like a fighter, or especially somebody that wears heavy armor, uh, the mobile feat would be incredibly uh useful because you can imagine somebody like a paladin that's clanking around in full plate and is able to uh, get extra movement and doesn't incur opportunity attacks just sort of flying around the battlefield uh, that would be a very interesting uh, concept to play uh, and then of course if you have a squishy character a uh, a spellcaster like a wizard or something like that, giving them the mobility feat, that might be kind of interesting. Uh, of course, they probably are not doing a whole lot of melee attacks. So that, again, may not be quite as useful. Uh, but, you know, the this bit about having the um, ignoring difficult terrain depending on your campaign and depending on the situations that your DM likes to put you in, if you run into a lot of difficult terrain, that the feat might be worth it just for that alone. 
so that you can get around the battlefield without having to deal with um, without having to deal with the uh, difficult terrain and the extra movement. All right. Well, uh, that is that is going to do it for today. Short and sweet. Uh, mobile feet. Short and sweet. Mobile feet. Hey, I rhymed that. Uh, <laughs> If you like everything that we're doing here on this channel, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, click the post notification bell so that you can get notified when things drop. If you if you have used the mobile feed uh, on a character, I'd be very interested in the comments below. Go ahead and, and tell us a little bit about your character. Why did you choose it and what benefits did it give you? If you're a DM and you have characters that have used the mobile feet or if you've given the mobile feet to some of your npcs uh some of the enemies that the uh, party has faced it'd be cool to see um what you did you know what your reasons were for giving it to them and those types of things all right well that is going to do it for today for skills on sunday I hope everybody will have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we will talk to you later. Good night, everyone. I said good night, everyone. <laughs>